This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it. Hey there, Arty. Deva, mina san. Shiru no desu. Still not over. All right. Coach got everyone together to make his closing remarks, and with that, another fun day drew to its close. In the end, Mio ended the game with a magnificent victory. Satoko and Rika-chan, who had labored so hard to betray me, had fallen into a huge trap afterwards, leaving them frustrated about more than a few things. <laughs> and then that take the sword shall perish by the sword. <laughs> She's I'm surprised. She seems like she would fall for the first lie to come her way. <laughs> oh no, he fell for a multi level marketing scheme? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Even good friends will lay traps mercilessly and betray everyone in sight once they get into a serious enough game. But despite that, once it's all over, they can feel refreshed and laugh together. It reminded me of how we were all such great friends. I don't know why we need a special scene for this. Rika, please no. Rika, please no. Can we go back to creepy Shion? Sometimes you just lose. Ah,はははは。愛者の嘆きは三つの味ですわね。海藻か、海藻なのです。ケイチ君もこうやって強くなっていくんだね。去年のミーちゃんを見てるみたい。Michan last year? What, did she always lose and moan about it in the past? How very interesting. I didn't know our undefeated president Mion was once like that. Mion hastily covered Rena's mouth. Everyone was watching burst out laughing. Finally, Rikachan pulled on Satoko's sleeve. But this is your house. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was dinner. I wanted to keep talking like this forever, but it was getting late. We split up with Satoko and Rika-chan and decided to get on our way home. Everyone waved to each other and split up for the short time between now and tomorrow. We began walking down the tall staircase leading from the shrine grounds. They forgot about the punishment! Whoa! As the sun started to set, the afternoon's heat began to disappear as though it was never there. Just listening to the chorus of the Higarashi was enough to make me forget about how hot it had been today. Huh. Now that I thought about it, she was right. It was June, the season of long rain, the hydra of hydrangeas and snails. I haven't seen a real rainy season since transferring here. Rain is very nice. I was a little spaced out, so I was late in answering Mion. I was thinking back to my conversation with her sister. The creepy one? 
When I said that Satoshi transferred, Shion clearly got angry. She was mad at me for saying something so careless. I mean, it may have been a vague way of skirting around the fact that he ran away from home, but I don't think it was so s bad that Shion would feel the need to be mad about it. I wasn't really satisfied with it. I felt like a child, completely ignorant of what he was being scolded for. So my thoughts spilled out of my mouth in a very direct fashion. <laughs> Rena, why are you blushing? As soon as I said the name Satoshi, Rena and Mion both lost their relaxed, comfortable mood and made strange expressions. Should I have avoided talking about this? That's what made me think. But I've already said it, so that's that. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. That was such a transparent way of putting it, but in my desire to know everything, I feigned ignorance. <laughs> I shot him! <laughs> Mion turned around and looked at to Rena for assistance. Rena looked between us, then quietly and sp softly spoke. When I said those words to Shion, she got upset. So I answered her with the same word Shion had given me. I had only intended to borrow Shion's words, but I said it exactly the same way she had, right down to the thorns in my voice. When I realized what I had done, I immediately tried to soften my remark. Mion and Rena, their eyes grew wide. They were at a loss for words. I started to feel like I was doing something really bad. I thought they were only hiding the fact that Satoko's older brother ran away out of consideration for her. I wasn't trying to blame them. The fact that I had to remind them even looked like I was tormenting them with an impossible question. No, maybe I was actually bullying them. Maybe I'd lashed out to them in retaliation for Shion getting mad at me. This whole day had been so much fun, but now... Why did I go and say something like that that made all of it meaningless? I couldn't help but regret my own careless curiosity. That's enough. Let's drop it now. As I was about to say that, Mion spoke up. <laughs> Mion's tone conveyed her genuine awkwardness. They sounded like the excuses of a child who had been presented with evidence of their own mischief. Mion said, resigning herself. But I felt bad for pushing her to say that. So, it's okay, Mion. Let's stop talking about Satoshi. Sorry for teasing you. I wanted to apologize. But right before that... Uh-oh. Unlike Mion's stammered reply, Rena was ext extremely clear and resolute. He won't come back. That was a very strange way of putting it. Normally you would say that he hadn't come back yet. At least, I thought you'd only say it like Rena did if he wasn't capable of coming back. He wouldn't say it like that when talking about someone who ran away from home. Oh, it's this music. Rena's word choice felt very cold to me. It was so cold that I couldn't muster a response right away. Mion noticed the deadlock between us and hurriedly followed up on what Rena had said. When running away from home, I thought you were supposed to leave a note or something. So when Satoshi ran away, he would probably have left some kind of letter apologizing to Satoko. That was just kind of what I figured. But from the way Mion was talking, it seemed a little different than just running away from home. Satoshi 
それをいなくなった日に全部下ろしてたのが分かったんだよで名古屋駅だかでサトシによく似た人が目撃されたとかで He withdrew all his savings to fund his escape from home. Was that it? It seemed consistent enough to me. But before I could say anything. Oh. Bion whispered to her. Rena, however, continued without interruption. And then she said this. It took some time before I understood what Rena meant by that. Mion clicked her tongue and shook her head a little. <clears throat> oh, I haven't seen those eyes in a while. Oh, man, she's freaking creepy AF. <laughs> Rena, honey, go home and take your pills, please. やめなよれなそれは間違いなくお社様のたたりの前兆きっとサトシ君は心のどこかでひなみざわを捨てて逃げ出そうという気持ちがあったんだと思うそれをお社様は許さなかっただからやめなっ<笑> <laughs> Ren is like, I don't care what you're saying, Mion. I'm gonna plot exposition. Angry Rena. Oof. I hate this. This is how much I hate you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nah, nah, the remake style is by far the creepiest for this. I hadn't intended to repeat it, but the words came out of my mouth anyway. Oyashiro-sama's curse. Oyashiro-sama's Wham! Mion struck Rena in the head. And not in a joking way, either. <laughs> no, no! Oh my gosh, and now Rena just like has the face of like, Oh, why did you strike me in the head? Now I have to contemplate your messy end. Yeah, okay, in the... Okay, here's the... In this art style, it just looks like she's, like, a, a little tired. In this one, it looks like she's hypnotized. And in this one, it looks like she is... insane. But also still calculating. Pushing her to her limits. Actually, there was plenty of displeasure and anger in Mion's face at that moment. For a few moments after being hit, Rena looked, ast looked astonished. That doesn't look astonished. That just looks like, <laughs> oh dear. I have, you, have you guys seen the video of the cat whose like tail catches on fire, and instead of freaking out, he literally just like turns, stares at it, and just like, like lets it burn out, then continues on like normal. <laughs> and the video is just called like, oh dear. I seem to have caught on fire. <laughs> Very, it's like that kind of nonchalant. Perhaps the voices of the Higarashi calmed her frantic mind, because after a little while she regained her original calm expression. We arrived at the place we always split up with Mion. No one said a word until we got there. The voices of the Higarashi just tortured our ears with their buzzing. <sighs> We'd always split up with Mion here, leaving just Rena and me. Today, however, I don't think I would go with Rena. Not when she's off her meds. Oh, yes, of course, Mio. You totally did. Uh, sorry, Rena. Uh, you'll have to go on your own. Huh? She promised that? However, I quickly realized it was a convenient way of saying she wanted to talk to me alone. Maybe she realized it. 
maybe she didn't. Thankfully, Rena quickly said she'd go home before us. <laughs> Considering the fun day we had, it was a very insipid, lonely party. Um, by the way, this is the place where there's the torture bunker, so maybe we shouldn't be alone with Mion. After a little while, Mion finally spoke. Quite some time had passed since splitting up with Rena. You did. You said a bunch of weird stuff, and now Rena's going crazy again. We don't talk about Satoshi. At this point, I understood exactly what she meant by that. Judging by her odd interactions with Rena, I understood so well it hurt that I shouldn't ever talk about it again. Actually, if that's the case, then with Shion, too. No, this is a bigger problem. Talking about it in the first place had been indiscreet. I shouldn't have been interested in it at all. But that's why I really had to think about it. About why everyone got so irritated. If you can stop this, Keiji Mayabara! By the time I tried to warn myself, I had accidentally spoken already. <sighs> For a long time, Mion remained silent. But finally, unable to endure it any longer, she began to speak timidly. <laughs> um, yeah, um... Rena just told me all about it. <laughs> I got the gist of it. I only overheard someone in class talking about it, though. Oyashiro-sama was the name of the deity protecting Hinamizawa that they worship at the shrine that we had at the barbecue at today. And a few years ago, when they started talking about flooding Hinamizawa as part of the dam project, one of the people worked on the site died or something, and people blamed it on Oyashiro-sama's curse. That's how it was. They wanted to move away. The dam project that would flood the entirety of Hinamizawa. I'd heard the village all got together to fight the terrible project, but it was a little hard to believe there were villagers who were supporting it. ダム計画に反対する人ばかりでもなかったんだけどさ。で、そのうん。国はダム工事に伴って多額の保証金を用意してたからね。そのお金が欲しくてダム計画に賛成してた人たちも結構いたんだ。Money talks. Aside from a few households, Hinamizawa was, in general, not very affluent. And not because they were proud to inherit the land of the ancestors. It wouldn't be strange if some people wanted enough money to start a new life. But even in that case, they would have had to hesitate to say so, given the situation. It just so happened to be Satoko and Satoshi's parents who understood that and stood up to be their representative. By that standard, you might say Satoko and Satoshi's parents were very heroic. They volunteered to be hated. All to help those without much money who didn't have a voice. Or was it sabotage? I thought back to what Coach told me today. They went to a nature park as on a family outing and fell from a cliff. It was a bit of an evasive reply, but I felt it was wrong to ask any further, so I didn't press her for details. Understandable. Yeah, of course I knew. I could only nod silently. Satoshi 
仮に聞かれても転校したってごまかすことにしてるその辺の事情を汲み取ってもらえるよね They wanted to protect Satoko's happiness, her smile. As someone who thought that way once, even for a short time, I really did regret having been imprudent enough to breach the, breach the topic to begin with. Ah, I understand. I'm sorry to say that I'm sorry to say that I'm sorry. When she heard that, Mion smiled, seeming a little relieved. With that understanding, thinking that I should get going, I began to make my way home. I could really have stopped by Mion's house, but it was already late. I'd stop by again the next time I had the chance. You better take some books with you, otherwise, Rana might be like, I thought you said you were borrowing books, KG. You lying to me? <laughs> you know how I feel about liars. <laughs> we waved to each other. Then, suddenly remembering something, Mion called out to me. えさっきので分かったと思うけどさレナってどういうわけかお社様のたたりの話だけは、yes. 笑い事で済まないんだよ、Indeed. 転校してきた時から What might have happened? どうしてレナはあんなにマジになるんだろうな Not only Rena, either, but she owned too. 知らないレナはねあこれ内緒だよ言ったら絶好だよわお、wow. Flat out ミオン emphasized this as her expression clouded even further 言わないよでレナが何だってんだよお社様のたたりにあったことあるんだってえ、うん、私は悪いけど被害妄想過剰な何かの思い込みじゃないかって思ってるんだけどねでも本人はそう言ってるしそう信じてる like、茶化すとかなり怒るレナは普段はチャラけてるけど怒るとかなり怒る、yes. Out of all the characters, I think Rena is the most terrifying when she gets crazy. More so than Shion was. Like, crazy Rena from chapter one terrified me in a way very few fiends have. And it was fantastically done. Satoshi's story. Hmm. Dekireba. この話題にも二度と触れるべきじゃないと思うねレナのためにもサトコのためにもさ For everyone else's too And if I must say for your own sake too, k e i c h a n But for silence, Mion made sure I knew that そうだなうん、わかったよありがとう Saying only that, she waved her hand and began walking away I need books I watched her go, a little dazed, and then started walking myself You need books Rana's gonna be like, hey, where are the books? Satoko's older brother, Satoshi. Had he run away from home? Or had he been a victim of the curse and disappeared forever? Whichever the case, none of this was anything I should have asked about. The cooling air forced me into self reflection. I wanted Satoko to smile. Yet my curiosity easily defeated me, and I frivolously tried to step into the dark side of things in a joking way. I'm shameful. I wanted today to be exactly like yesterday. I wanted tomorrow to be just as fun as today, too. So, why did I go and do something like that? We were having a blast at the baseball game yesterday. And today we had a blast at the big barbecue party, too. It was lots of fun. But then I went. I went and almost nullified all those fun times. I would have to be more careful starting tomorrow. I would put all this unpleasant stuff behind me forever. Like, hell, I'm gonna let my enjoyable life end because of how careless I was today. <laughs> if, only, yeah, if only Chapter 2 KG could think that. But the more I thought about that, the, I'd be more careful target starting tomorrow, the more I couldn't get rid of the ominous thought that I'd already put an end to those enjoyable days of what I'd just done. Hey, wait. Calm down, Keiji Maibara. The gears of destiny are freaking gigantic, aren't they? What happened just now was trivial. It doesn't make any sense to think my life will be totally different starting tomorrow. But even though I understood it logically, the mist in my heart wasn't going to fade. 
until tomorrow turned out to be as fun as today. I wish tomorrow would come already. I wanted it to make me understand how absurd my insignificant doubts really were. That night was long. Okay, now it's starting to get good. Oh, wow, oh, come on! We were so close! We were so close to getting through a stream without a bot coming through and ruining things. Doggone it. Oh, that's a lot of new tips, my gosh. Mystery Meat having a barbecue party with everyone. I don't like that name, Mystery Meat, but... Alright. The Slacking Manager. Oh, boy! Boy, where's Shion? Shion san mo... Oh, really, my coach. <笑>女の子に甘いものを運ばせようって言うんですかそんなだからいい年になっても相手が見つからないんですよ、監督は。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> He was loading the station wagon with heaps of equipment we'd use for today's barbecue meeting. All the flowers and sons who had helped were starting to get on their way. I wouldn't want to ride with the coach. <laughs> she doesn't either. <laughs> やはりマネージャーさんがいないとパッとしませんからね。まだ私マネージャーなんですか<笑><笑> <笑>試合がある度に来ないかと電話がかかってくるの。もううざくて叶わないんですから。ちゅばし。しおんちゃんももっともっと素直になれば、とっても<笑> Hola. Coach was fooling around with all his might, but Shion just smiled into the distance without responding. She's like, and that's why I'm riding my bike. <laughs> You're still a creeper, Coach. Satoshi-kun-dake-inai-to-oshari-dai-no-desu-ka? <laughs> So he and Shion were a thing. Oh. Unless the coach is just being super creepy again. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe she had a thing for him. <laughs> All right, Coach, I've had just about enough of you. Coach bent over and laughed heartily for a little while. No. Oh, he was talking to her. Also, no. マネージャーなんか全然もうやる気ないんですから。いいんですよ。あなたが嫌なら、いつでも首にしてあげますよ。<笑> Oh, 
先方、もうだいぶ待たせてますね。Well, the weird, the, the girls, では、今日はこの辺で、また次の試合でお会いしましょう。ええ、気が向いたらね。さよなら、監督。で I don't know why we needed that scene, but all right. Copy of the preliminary autopsy before Edgeworth updated it. The autopsy suggests the victim was killed in the following manner 1. Entire body found in restraints. Traces but left behind from when the body seemed to have been bound indicated usage of a specific restraining table rather than rope or another common method. Finger joints on either hand appear to have been bound especially tightly. Highly likely that the table was either specially made or homemade given this information. Hmm, I wonder where this table was、uh, coming from. 2. Both ears and nose severed with a sharp blade. Ew. Traces of the restraint and other things seem to suggest that there was at least one more other than the one who, who severed these body parts holding down the victim's head. Possible that multiple blades were used, with one of them most likely being scissors or shears. Ew. Five, three, five nails penetrated fingers on each hand. One long nail stuck in each joint of each finger for each hand, for a total of 30. Ugh! The deceased's fingers were nailed to wooden planks 20 square centimeters large. Extremely likely these planks were part of the restraining table. In addition, it is likely the table was originally designed for just such a purpose. 4. Abdomen incised, intestines removed. The incision in the abdomen is likely to have been a technique grounded in the medical methodology using a sharp blade. Estimated that there was still no threat to the victim's life at this stage. After this, the organs inside the incision were dismantled and removed. The victim likely died as a result of the process. 5. Body disposed. After fastening a dumbbell to the victim's neck using a commercial pet collar, the victim was likely abandoned in the Ogier River's third drain. Judging by the dumbbell's weight, it's highly possible they would have needed at least three grown men to have disposed of the body. To Uisi san. Here's a copy of the preliminary autopsy of the slaughtered corpse in the Ogier River. Chief Shikaharu sees this as having a possible relation to the S group. What are your thoughts, Oisi san? Isn't that, isn't that the body we were getting an indication of at the beginning? East round three. Is this going to be Oisi commenting on things? <laughs> It is! <laughs> He's back! なんでドラが3つも入んすかバカもんが大石が転廃したの分かっててカンドラ増やしよってからに自業自得じゃぞチュンさらしたらドラを上乗せするぐらいしかやることないじゃないですか厄介さらしたらドラそばはしちゃダメですよフフフフフフフフウィシー grinned meaningfully as his buddies swearing began breaking down the walls and reforming them. Toki ni oi san, do desu ka? Ware mashita ka? Nan jai? Ah, le no dobugawa zansatsu shitai no hana shi ka no? Nani ko tegakari wa atta no ka? Ne, ma. Mura wa sochi de totte kudasai yo. Sasu ga! Nani mo no desu, hotoke? Mami ya Rina, homio wa Ritsuko. Hmm. 七骨フラワーロードにあるブルーマーメイドってキャバクラに勤めてたみたいっすやれやれそらやばい店じゃな確かそのザキ系の若頭の店じゃろそのザキあった S 号関連か難航しそうな山だな噂じゃあ仏さんそのザキの上納金に手をつけちゃったらしいっす話じゃかなりシャレにならない気持ちです。女が上納金に手を出したか。裏に男がいそうじゃのう。女の単独犯なんてそうそうないぞい。<笑>どうせもう死んでますよ。死体がまだ出ないだけで。そうそう、おいさん。女の同居人、生きてるみたいですよ。生きてるじゃあこれから死ぬんでしょうね。害虫が害虫を駆除してくれるんだから、本当に素敵な事情機能だと思いますよ。その紐なんですがね。北条鉄平なんですよ。あの。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、北条誰だい北条鉄平。去年、ひなみざで起こった主婦撲殺事件の仏のご主人ですよ。
事件の後姿を消したって聞いてましたけど、Uh-oh. そうかその女のところに転がり込んでたか、huh. ますますにその先の匂いがプンプンだの彼氏は今どこに女のアパートに同居してたんすがね女が自分を捨てたと思ったみたいで店やたまりのあちこちを探し回ってるらしいっす。Huh. So、hmm. Well then, that was fun. That's where we're gonna have to end it for tonight. Hey, yeah, we're at the end of chapter four. So thanks for joining in, everybody. Uh, we'll be continuing our Sacred Stones Iron Man this week, Wednesday and Friday, and we'll be continuing Hikarashi next Sunday. Hope you guys tune in for that. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everybody.